Hey guys, welcome to Chennai Robotis. My name is Dilip Kumar Indu. Today we're going to learn about a soldering iron. You might have seen the soldering iron, for which we need a soldering iron, a soldering lead like this, and a soldering paste we need. Following this, we're going to learn what is a multimeter, how to use this multimeter to check the voltage, resistance, and current in any circuit. A soldering iron looks very simple. It gets uh, heated and we have to melt this and then use it. In spite of it being so easy, I have this question in all my sessions from the participant. Sir, how to use a soldering iron? So, uh, we try to put the lead to the component. It does not stick to it. We try to put the lead to the PCB board. The lead sticks here, but with the component, it does not stick. Or we use a, a wire sleeved and we put the lead to the wire it does not stick how to overcome these problems yes we're going to learn that today step by step okay i'm going to be with you throughout this video let's get into our chapter now the first thing the precautions thing that we need to learn uh, in using a soldering uh, iron to use a floor mat in your foot like you need you don't you should not have connection directly to the ground you should use a, a floor mat to keep your foot over that so it will protect you from electric shock that is one another one is you always need to ensure that you buy a soldering iron which has three pins like this this third pin is the earth pin which will protect you from electric shock okay and uh, the third precaution this soldering iron is a very cheapest soldering iron uh, i got this in the market for uh, 70 rupees and uh, so or uh, it could be any other soldering uh, iron too. Uh, the most common problem that occur in the soldering iron is the disconnection of the electric uh, terminal inside here. So most people will throw this off to the garage. You inspect the uh, fault finding. You will see that the wire would have disconnected most of the time in a soldering iron. So to prevent that, I have used a glue here just to make it very firm. So even if this wire shakes, this does not shake the wire here attached so in that way this local brand i'm using it uh, more than four years and i have not seen any problem with this so with this let's go to our first lesson usually when you buy a fresh new uh, soldering iron you will not see any black uh, coated here this is because the, the rod is getting heated it becomes corroded that is very common in a soldering iron so i have actually taken off the rust before shooting it but usually if there is a rust you need to just use your knife to uh, rub off all the uh, ash black ash on top of it in case you see some black particles here in the soldering this thing you need to uh, you know uh, rub that off too with your knife so that uh, the soldering lead stick to it so once you are done for now i have the soldering lead uh, stick to it so it's not a problem for me in case it doesn't ha it has a black ash for you just rub that off and keep it ready okay now that we have learned all this in case your soldering iron gets fused off you just have to open this these three screws and then you can change this rod which is available in the market okay that's about it and uh, commonly people don't change the rod if the soldering iron is very good you don't have to change it and you can use that for many years so what you have to change is the bit here the bit here you could see the ring here you have to just loosen this up and pull this up this comes out so if the rod has gone eaten up to this level after this level you can't use it so you have to replace this in the market this might cost you around uh, 20 to 30 rupees in the market which you need to replace that's about the soldering iron and uh, let's get into our first chapter yes i have plugged this and you can see the light glowing here so you know how the soldering iron works like the soldering iron heat gets heated up here so you need to be very careful in case you if uh, you want to test whether there's electric shock into it and then you have a tester first time you just keep on top of this and see if the light is glowing maybe minute light may, may glow in some cases but that's not an electric shock tester is glowing brighter you need to check for any short circuits inside this or any leakage of electricity to this so in case you want to inspect uh, whether it's working or not you just have to tap like this usually we do that but uh, not necessarily but i'm saying in case you uh, in case you want to see whether the rod is heating up 
uh, I, and your foot is on the foot mat then do this testing okay now that I think it's heating up for me okay let it heat up uh, usually it takes uh, 5 to 10 minutes depending upon the wattage mine is a 25 wattage in the market there are 35 wattage and more than that also it's available and different models of soldering iron is also available this is the basic model that i'm teaching you if you learn this model you it's very easy for you to handle those uh, soldering irons okay the first lesson that we're going to learn how to uh, solder this into the board here okay for that we need to first do the coating of this component okay if you're going to do it like this let's say that i'm going to uh, you know do this like this and this like always this side and uh, yes i have to solder this okay and uh, usually what we do is we we make the components sit on the board like this and then we cut off these stems okay in now this is just for a trial i'm going to use this one on top of this i'm going to do it just to show you the trial of it okay to do that first you need to people miss out this concept uh, which is very important soldering uh, soldering that to rub off the dust or the uh, uh, oxides coated uh, formed on top of this uh, I, it could be iron or copper wherever it is there will be oxides formed on top of this you just need to scrub this off and make it look glittering like this so that is the most important step without this your soldering paste will not stick to it okay so people miss out this step and they say sir soldering uh, lead is not sticking to it all that is because of they wouldn't have rubbed this off basically so here i have rubbed this can you see this glitter yes it's glittering actually that is the first best step that you should do now i'm going to use my uh, soldering iron is heating up we have a soldering stand actually you need to use the standing stand uh, uh, to keep your uh, hot rod and uh, for the shooting purpose I could not use that stand that's why I'm using a tweezer here to keep on this by mistake if you happen to leave your soldering stick on top of the plastic item this get melted and you will get the uh, funky sound uh, smell as well so that or most of the time I would have seen that uh, wire cutter people instead of keeping it here they leave it here and you could have seen the mark here on top of this in most of the cases I have seen that it's because people leave that by mistake okay so uh, now the rod is heated up the second step is to dip the uh, soldering paste one time into this that's all that's enough in case you need a lead okay that's that's the first thing you want to take this like this and uh, see how it melts can you see this melting I hope you can see this melted here I'm going to keep it on top of this stem okay see can you see this drop like thing I'm just dragging it like this yeah that is the coat one and uh, this is the this is again the second coat so if, the, if it's not sticking just use the paste for once and then start dragging it like this can you see this it's that liquid is immersed into this so this is the this is the first step that we should uh, we have done second step right so uh, after getting after coating this up we're going to put that into the board okay if there's too much of uh, soldering lead you have taken just give a one tap here and the soldering lead will will fall so it has fallen here okay for the first for the first time when you are using it on any uh, board or thing use your soldering paste like this okay so i am taking that same soldering lead here back again and then i am using it on top of like this one two see how it's stuck one two that is step one so i am going to connect this both to the pcb cut this equal okay i am going to set like this can you see this it has completely fitted up here soldering uh, paste to get pasted here one and two if you have the lead just apply it like this one i'm going to apply it like this it's stuck okay that's it done and uh, in case you may cut this off as well okay 
so that's it uh, so we have cut this and that's it uh, we have fixed one component to the PCB next we'll see how to uh, do a soldering with the wire I'm going to if you know how to use the cutter you can use the cutter just slice it not completely you should not use the cutter completely then that will cut the wire just do it then you can do this kind of a stuff there that's done okay put them into the paste apply a coat of paste here okay I'm going to do the coating as we did for the component okay look at it here the coating is perfect yes and I'm going to do the same coating this side so once you have completed this step then it's very easy for you to put that into the board okay I'm going to use it for the pin number here I'm going to use a lead and then I'm going to use it like this can you see this wire has been so uh, I hope you have you were able to understand uh, my soldering class so once you have done the work and uh, you are working with something else and the soldering iron is not required you have to definitely switch off the soldering iron okay that's it about soldering iron i hope uh, i was able to give you very clear idea about how to do soldering uh, hey that's the end of this video hope you really enjoyed uh, learning today if so please share this video with your friends so they also learn what you have learned today uh, do subscribe to the channel for more interesting videos like this and uh, if you're interested in learning more about basic electronics or uh, microcontroller arduino or coding sketches you can do that uh, we teach you in three levels basic intermediate and advanced level so you can uh, once you've done basic level you can move to the intermediate and then advanced and then you become a robotist as well so end of each levels you are also uh, you also receive a certification from us which will be very useful for you especially when you're going for counseling uh, for engineering uh, preferring robotics as a course you can actually convince them because you've already been certified so that's a uh, that's a good thing about it uh, Call us, email us, we respond to you to know more about uh, what we do in our courses and uh, the prices that we offer. We teach in online and offline modes. You can choose accordingly. So, uh, see you there in my course and uh, see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Take care.